Welcome back to Market on Close. I'm Marley Caden. LiDAR company Ava and LG Inatech, the components and materials subsidiary of LG Group, have struck a manufacturing partnership focused on the automotive sector. The partnership will have LG Inatech manufacturing and supplying Ava's Atlas Ultra 4D LiDAR sensors for cars, and then eventually expanding the technology for use in consumer electronics, robotics, and industrial automation. As part of that deal, LG Inotech will invest up to $50 million in Ava and acquire an equity stake of about 6% in the company. For more on this deal and what it could mean for the automotive industry as a whole, let's welcome in Saroosh Salahian. He's the co-founder and CEO of Ava. Saroosh, thank you for being with us again and congratulations on the deal. Thank you, Marley. Thanks for having me. Well, can you just walk us through what this deal means for Ava? Yeah, absolutely. So first of all, as you mentioned, this is a uh, really interesting and exciting day for us. It's a $50 million strategic partnership deal as a $50 million vote of confidence for Ava. Uh, together, we are going to uh, co-develop new products um, for not just the automotive space, uh, where LG is going to be our manufacturing partner for our top 10 passenger OEM, but also we are going to be developing new products uh, based on our uh, 4D LiDAR technology for new markets, including across robotics, uh, consumer, and others to really power this race for automation and the physical AI. And Suresh, for people who aren't familiar with Ava, can you explain your concept of 4D LiDAR because it is unique to the industry? Absolutely. So um, LiDAR, maybe we can start from there, is based on laser sensors that can help the world uh, help machines see the world, right? So uh, typical LiDARs are based what's called uh, 3D LiDAR that measure primarily the distance to objects. So you can have this very accurate three-dimensional map of the, of the world. Where we shine and we're different in is our ability to actually measure what we call a fourth dimension, which is why we coined the term 4D LiDAR. And that is measuring the additional data of velocity. So it's very similar of going from black and white cameras to color camera information. And that 4D uh, velocity information helps uh, machines see speed of objects and be able to uh, effectively see safer and uh, help to make safer decisions more intelligently. So that's one of the key differentiations for us. And what we have done is we've been able to put all of that on a small silicon chip that we call LiDAR on a chip, uh, which helps us scale this uh, and now together with uh, LG, we're aiming to bring this really to mass scale. So uh, we think at the end of the day, this partnership is going to really help us uh, supercharge our scale for global adoption. So the first focus is automotive, which I know you already have a partner uh, with your chips for automotive. But beyond that, the next move would then be to put it into robotics. Are these the type of robots that we see on a factory floor? Yeah, absolutely. Our vision actually is for robots of all different kinds, forms and shapes, including factory automation in which we have the ability to, with the same chip but different algorithms, see down to micron level precision. That is a fraction hundredth of the size of a human hair. And that is super precise, So, which is used for quality control and advanced automation, but also helps with uh, what's called robot guidance, which is basically gripping things very, very precisely. Uh, the other piece of it really is around our ability to measure things um, super precisely applies to consumer applications. And that's another area where we're going to be working together with uh, LG and looking at applying those technologies there. Just to give you background, LG actually is already a trusted, reputable mass global scale supplier into these uh, industries, including uh, some of the largest brands such as Apple in the consumer electronics space, as well as Tesla in the automotive and robotics space. So we hope that we can leverage these existing relationships, the global scale and the resources, combined with our unique technology to enter some of those new markets. So I would just add one example for you in the consumer space, which I think is pretty interesting, which is we have the ability to measure in a non-contact way uh, biometrics, including pulse, pulse pressure, providing uh, continuous uh, health tracking in a private manner at, this, at the comfort of your house without having to wear anything or, or anything like that. So that's, you know, some of the future that we're hoping to enable as we are developing this technology together. So incredible. So when you say consumer devices, you know, we could, through this partnership, eventually see them in my phone, in a VR headset, in a wearable, like you just mentioned, uh, smart appliances. 
Absolutely. We are, when we talk about consumer, we're talking about consumer electronics, phones, tablets, uh, AR or VR applications, as well as in consumer home products, um, you know, including, as you mentioned, uh, appliances. And just another example of that is, um, you know, it's something that is simple, but I think it's helpful. Imagine having a, a you know, air conditioner in your house uh, and, you know, you don't have to always reach out for the remote to turn it on. Having the ability to have 40 LiDAR allows you to know when somebody is there, how many people are there, so the, 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 the AC can automatically adjust uh, for uh, turning on and off and, and the temperature in the room without having to reach for any remote or button on the, on the wall. Well, certainly it sounds like it increases efficiency, but I have to imagine that the 4D LiDAR could also increase safety as well, just because it's an added component, you know, particularly in a factory setting. Yeah, I think, uh, you know, we, our vision um, is really to bring perception to everything. Um, and, you know, there has been this race ongoing for uh, really making the physical world automated, but in a safe manner, right? So I think um, uh, safety, of course, is uh, a given for any ro uh, robotic and automation applications. With that fourth dimension of velocity, we see the ability to provide that additional factor in the robotic space where, you know, if you think about it, before an accident may happen in the factory space, usually something is moving. Either a person is entering an area where it's not supposed to be where the robot is, or a robot is doing something that's not supposed to be and has some, some uh, fallout situation. So that, uh, because of the fact we can measure velocity for every single pixel, uh, that allows us to provide that information instantaneously uh, providing that additional factor of safety and time for the robot to make decisions on time. And I imagine the same would apply in an automotive capacity as well with it in a car. Absolutely. Uh, I think another good example of automotive is actually that, you know, if you think about it, LiDAR, which is basically laser-based sensors that see machine, help machines see the world, um, you know, can measure, let's say, an object, for example, um, that you don't know exactly what it is at three or 400 meters out. But at that distance, you only get a few points on that object. When you uh, don't have the velocity and information, you're not sure what that is. That may be a person, it may be a car, or it may be just noise. So what you can do, all you can do really is to keep looking at that object as you get closer or it's getting closer to you. With the dimension of velocity, same few points, let's say 10 points, you can actually see the speed of it and given the fact that they all have the same speed, you know that this is one object. And when they're all coming towards you at 70 miles per hour, you better pay attention because that's a car that's uh, you know, coming in your way. And um, we can provide that information instantly in the first one or two frames versus the existing solutions out there, which literally means um, you know, multiple seconds of time saving, which we think is crucial. And our customers start to see that as well, the folks that we have partnered with in trucking, passenger, and others. Well, congratulations to Ava on this partnership with LG. And thank you, Saroosh, for your time this afternoon. That's Saroosh Salahian, the co-founder and CEO of Ava.